Hey guys, it's Coach Carrie, and because summer is here, I've got my garden going on. Guess what else is coming through? Zucchinis. So every year about this time, I'm always looking for different zucchini recipes, and I want them to be quick, and I want them to be healthy, and I really don't want to spend a lot of time in the kitchen, to be honest with you. So today, we're going to be doing a really quick and simple zucchini hummus, and this is a great um, dip that you can have with your um, carrot chips or different vegetables, great way to get in all those um, vegetables and, and that 30 grams of fiber that we always talk about. All right guys, so let's get started. Okay, so for this recipe, you're gonna need one cup of zucchini. If you want to peel this, that is perfectly fine. Um, but if you leave that peeling on, that's just gonna give you some extra fiber. With the pectin from the skin and everything, and I'm just going to throw those slices in there. All right, so I'm gonna add my one third cup of raw tahini. And actually there is just a small amount left in my little jar here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add whatever is left because I am not saving that for anything else. All right, so we've got that. And then the next thing that we're gonna use is about three tablespoons of lemon juice. And I'm going to use one teaspoon of minced garlic, which is basically like for every half a teaspoon, that's considered one clove. So if you have cloves at home, you can do one to two cloves of garlic on that. All right, we've got one half teaspoon of salt and two teaspoons of cumin. we're gonna do is put it in our food processor or if you have a mini chopper of some type and we're just going to power it on blend it up. all right guys let's try this out I love absolutely absolutely love um, carrot chips and you can get these at the grocery store or anything but let's see it tastes just like regular hummus um, I would say the difference in this one is we did not put any of the garbanzo beans in there. So as far as your carb count, it's going to be lower because of course zucchini is going to be lower on the glycemic index scale than garbanzo beans. So that's a good thing. Um, also because of the moisture level in the zucchini, we didn't even have to add oil. So if you're watching your calorie content for the day, this is even going to be a better choice. So a really, really healthy treat. You are basically eating zucchini in a bowl, but it takes like a really good um, dipping treat with that carrot or whatever approved crackers you may have or, or any other vegetables that you may want to eat with that. But if you have extra zucchini in your garden, then this is one of the ones that I'll think that I would try in the next few days. It's delicious, guys. All right, guys, until next time, make good choices.